sneak through. We see that Beast has actually started up the first dragon with, of course, Callista there. That's going to be an easy secure at only four minutes. And we see potentially a... a Turret dive coming through. Oh, wow. speaking of which, Yahoo manages to hit the level six here before Barker. The Ignite ticking down. First blood, 1v1 for Jahu in the mid lane. Jungle is actually heading up here as the Pillar of Filth is down. There's the flash into the throw as well under Tail. Uses the heal. Beast picks up that kill with a bite, but let me, he's in here as well. Flandre, he wants to go aggressive here, but the Akathian surprise definitely working out. Beast, I don't think he has his passive here. Because we're just going to throw in a little bit of a video in the middle of the fight. But let me uses his empowered W. There's the passive from Beast, who's staying in this fight. But he's going to get taken down. Huey gets the kill. Flandre, he might follow after a dive. Not going to be another snowball. On cooldown for Snake. And they both got very scaling lineups. So Snake grabbing these so early is a good thing. Certainly is in the ultimate coming through here now. Yeah, Xiaohu actually looking to pick up a kill on a crystal. Nice monsoon gonna get him out of there as well as Beast comes around. He's got so much extra health. Let me just getting destroyed. Beast picks up that one. Two, one, and zero. As Huey, he's caught out by Barker. Not going to get any help from the jungle here as well. And Snake, they own this top side of the map. My goodness, that's the tidal wave to come through. And the Flash Flandre actually looking to try and do something. Actually heading around, wants to pick up Tail if he can. Pillar of Filth there as well. And Crystal picks it up with a Ren. Beautifully played. And that target selection was stunning. Yeah, that's true, but it's going to be an e Ooh, actually, Crystal going to martially poise into that Aqua Prism. But Huey just going to get thrown back into the team. It is going to be the ultimate use. Polymorph going to get him out of it. Gets slowed down by that Glitter Lance as well as Barker trying to catch up. Flandre was actually off into the backside. Doesn't even die. That may not be happening here as Snake. They do have a monopoly on that one. Huey might have to be careful here. Thrill of the Hunt was popped here from Let Me, but more as a defensive tool. Rolling Thunder not going to find it as Let Me going to jump into the backside. But there's the Wild Growth. Not going to find the kill under Flandre, who's so huge in this fight. Almost has his ultimate available yet again. Oh, that Glacial Path would have been very dangerous for Zhao, who is able to get some cheeky cues off here as well. Nice Ring of Frost to come down. Ganty, they're still in this one. Nice heal to come through from Crystal to try and give his team back some health. Huey going down solo. Sync Dream's going to die. They trade it for Beast. Huey is so low at the front of this fight. Crystal somehow still alive, but Xiaohu picks up the kill. Flandre is bound to fall down. No, not even dead just yet. As Ella, he's going to try and help out his top laner. There's going to be the frozen domain, but I have a feeling that he's going to die to Xiaohu, and he does. And Gamti, they get a clean ace in the end. Hit pack and just lobs uh, his auto attacks at whoever is in range. Yeah, exactly right. Which is the fact that Jauhu's Lissandra looks so good as we jump back into some action. Yeah, speaking of Jauhu's Lissandra, he is going to ult himself up here as well. Ella going to get caught out, gets slowed down to high heaven as Beast does have the passive available. There's the wild growth as well as Let Me looking to try and jump into this one. Thrill the Hunt was popped, but Glacial Path again. And Gamti are getting the picks around this map that they want. Go for that hurricane build here as well, Gamti. This is a tough gambit to throw. We'll see whether they manage to actually lock this one down. Flandre is in here as well. Glitter Lance available. Flandre going to use the Subjugate here as well. He's very, very tanky, but they're ignoring him for now. There's the Frozen Domain. This Baron going down very, very low. They don't have Beast, and Huey locks down the Baron. And now Flandre is going to die as well. Barker in a fair bit of trouble. Huey's going to fall. Crystal, he's made it into the fight. Tail falls down. A Cathian Surprise going to be there. The flash over the wall from Crystal. He's looking to try and make something happen. Fate's call going to be used. Yahoo in a lot of trouble. The double kill to come through as the mid laner falls down. Let me just wants to escape as Barker going to ult himself up. Let me with a lot of use of that W is able to keep himself healthy and he's very tanky here as well as Barker might be in trouble but the Polymorph going to save his life and Crystal coming through to clear out this minion wave as well and Snake they get a lot of kills back but that is still some Barons available. Right now. Yeah, speaking of real threats, though, Crystal actually picked up a Last Whisper as well as Sync Dream. He's going to get caught out. Crystal picking up another kill for that one, as the rest of Gamti might need to be careful now. There's a lot of engage to come through, especially from that Fates Club. But Gamti, they're looking to push, and Flandre, he wants none of it. Looking to try and get in here. There's the Wild Growth as well. So much knocking about of the Gamti members of Xiaohu going to get aggressed on, but it's going to be Crystal falling down first. The Cogmore with so much damage. Barker going to get Blade of the Ruin. His tail looks to go aggressive, but the rest of Snake, they're trying to get out. 
Tail getting slowed down by everything here as Huey now in a bit of trouble, but the bottom lane dead in trade for the mid laner. And with that Frozen Tomb down, Xiaohu, he's done his job. Yeah, exactly right. Able to get in there. They're looking to go. Great bubble. Beautiful Aqua Prison is going to be used there by Sync Dream, but not able to get the kill under Beast as Huey is in a lot of trouble. Actually, Tail tanking up this turret as well. There's the lock into the wall as well as Beast with the hero play. Oh, almost survives that one as well, but Barker, he's going to fall down. Flandre looking for the kill, finds it under Tail. A Cathian surprise. It's going to pick that one up as the double kill comes through and back no damage. away. They there is no zero damage. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely nothing. That's two Cinder Hulks. I guess that's something. But Crystal looking to go aggressive. Let me is going to get knocked up here a little bit. Tidal Wave going to come through. Oh, actually, Glacial Path not going to be used. They're just going to secure the dragon with both of their smites available. Setting up for a potential area to fight. And Crystal going to have to be very careful in this next one. Because it's all on him, you have to think. Trying to get the consistent damage around with that hurricane. Fake gaming. <laughs> Ridiculously well played. We going to see this one come through. Actually, Flandre fell down. Beast as well. Crystal, of course, survives. But Ganty looking to start off this Baron as well. It is a 5v3 situation, but they still have to be careful. The Callista is still alive, and there's a lot of poke to come through from this Lulu. But they're not going to go for a steal because, of course, there's so many opportunities for Gamti to secure this one. And now as well, looking to try and get a flank from the backside. Huey gets slowed down by that pillar. And actually, oh, Xiaohu right into the middle of the fight. Tombs himself up. He's got the for, the Zonya's Hourglass available as well. But Beast is just ripping through these members. He's going to fall down low. Uses the Zonya's. Let me now. Trying to do some work as Flandre actually flashes over to the side. There's going to be the pillar as well. And kills Xiaohu, who takes down Beast in the backside of this one as well. Let me. Oh, Flandre actually dodging out of the way. Crystal, the rest of the members of Snake are still alive, trying to catch up. And Flandre wants to try and get something done. Frozen Domains there. Oh my goodness, almost survives. But Tail able to catch up. And of course, the slows available for Huey are a little bit too big. And... It's a one for two yet again in this fight, but where was the rest of Snake? Oh my goodness. Oh, Tail just flashing on top of Crystal, but he turns it around, picks up the kill. Huey now trying to get on top of him. Let me takes down the AD carry, but that again is all of the damage dead on the side of Gamti. It's the danger of a two damage comp, and Let me is going to get knocked up here as well. Barker looking to turn it around, does pick up the double now as well. Because has gone for more of the sort of damage build with the Sorcerer Shoes instead of the Lucidity Boots. Doesn't have the 40% CDR, but is going to be getting the blue buffs here as well as Gamti have actually started off the Dragon. Snake looking to try and contest this one. Aqua Prison onto Flandre, who's going to be in a bit of trouble here. Glacial Path going to come through. Barker going to get out of here, but Crystal able to use that QSS. There's the Zonyas as well. Flandre huge in the backside. Beast as well, but there's the Cogmore dead. There's Flandre looking to pick up the kills, and look at what happens when the Callista is able to auto-attack. Ridiculous stuff. Let me's gonna die as well, and they'll even get the dragon at the same time. Sync Dream prevents the ace, but what is the fish gonna do against this? Yeah, that's Game Atlas. They're gonna move into the bottom lane. That wave is absolutely massive. Will be enough for the turret, will probably be enough for the Nexus turrets. And we were complimenting how well Gamty were playing these team fights, but in the end, it's all about Snake being able to get the one team fight that matters. That will skip into the base. Crystal chunking out these structures. And that was extremely well played. Beautifully played. And they knew that that's all that they needed. Just needed to pick up that one fight. They grab it. And they're able to finish the game off the back of it. No breaking the base necessary. They just win a dragon fight and steamroll the base.